morning everyone so we're on lesson 35 today and we're going to look at a new vowel and it's the vowel is the for nothing really it's the it's the schwa in the middle of a word so if you find the schwa in the middle of a word and schwa is the two dots going down underneath a hebrew uh, consonant so this is the most misunderstood vowel so far you have learned that when a consonant didn't have a vowel it was left empty and you naturally read it correctly for example um let's win this word so in this in this word the facade doesn't have a vowel and you read it naturally which you read it as this is the the mem which is m, the e vowel underneath the i vowel sorry which sounds as e uh, then you went straight to the tasadi, to the vav, the a vowel, mitzvah. So in Hebrew, but the thing is, <laughs> in Hebrew, you never leave a consonant empty without the vowel. And we have been reading some words without the vowel in previous lessons. Um, except for the last letter in a word. So what we do if the consonant doesn't have a vowel, as in the word window, in the English word window, the N doesn't have a vowel. So the solution is the new symbol schwa. And this symbol schwa, it means nothing, it represents nothing. So I'll show you now. The schwa is a silent vowel, it means, hey, this consonant has no vowel. But knowing this symbol will help you divide words into syllables. So let's have a little look. So what is a syllable? A syllable is, a, is one motion of the mouth. So when you see the schwa in the middle of a word, you always stop after pronouncing the consonant. So I'll give you an example again of the word mitzvah. Okay, so we'll read it again. M. It's got the I vowel, which sounds as E. The Sadi meets. So the two dots underneath is showing the stops on there. Meets, and then it goes on to the next one. It's like a pause. So you just stop after pronouncing the consonant. Um, so here are some examples of how to break a word into syllables. So we'll have a look at some more words. So to break it up, this is uh, silent, this is the E the one underneath, which is air. You go on to the next consonant, U, and the consonant, it haven't got a vowel, so it needs the the schwa would usually go in underneath that letter to show us a pause. So L and then it'd go to the next letter, which is the bet. And then that's the O. L bow. It's just showing how to break them up. And then we look at this another one. Give an example. Okay, so the left is silent, moves on to the, the vowel, which is the bar with the dot on top, which is the O vowel, O, and then straight to the resh, O, OR. The resh haven't got a vowel underneath, so it'd have the shava. Then you'd go to the next Hebrew consonant, which is the left, that the E vowel on the resh, O, DER. And you could break it up by putting a dash in between the R and the D. So the important rule is the schwa in the middle of a word is like a stop sign. It divides the words into syllables. Okay, so schwa means, it just means no vowel. So we will practice reading three words we have learned. And um, notice that now the schwa is added into the consonants. But don't have a vowel.
Så for exempel in the word is real. Okay, so we separate the word into syllables. So we got ya, ya i bawal i. It's the scene, because the dot is on the top left. Is so we pause because they've got to show our underneath. So we could break it up for there. Is as one syllable. Go on to the next one. It's the resh, which sounds as ur. The A vowel underneath, ah. Again, we could break it again. Yizra. And then go on to the next one. Silent. So it takes on the vowel only, which is air. Uh. Yisrael. So you can see I was three syllables. Yisrael. And it's the same with um, the word commandment. And with Hebrew. So we'll look at the word for Hebrew again. Okay, so silent letter, so it takes on the sound of the vowel, which is the E vowel. I, I vowel, sorry, sounds as E. Moves to the next consonant, which is the vet, Eve. Got a shawa underneath, so it's a pause. Go to the next letter, which is the resh. And the dot and the yud is the I vowel, which sounds as E. And the tab at the end, Ivri. So again, we could separate it by putting a dash there. Eve, Rit, as is two as is two syllables. Um, so next lesson, we're going to look at the shawa when it's at the beginning of a word. So it's a little bit different when it's at the start of a word to being in the middle. Okay, so I'll see you next um, in the next lesson now to look at the shawa at the beginning of a word.